is an electric planer. We're using it today um, to take material off the bottom of the door as it's swinging. Uh, it's hitting around here. And so we're taking just enough material off so we get a nice uh, swinging motion. So um, we first have a cap going on here. It can go on either side. So you can direct where you want the dust to come out of. This knob will adjust the height up here, which would be the depth of cut. So it goes all the way from zero um, in a few different increments, all the way up to um, one twelfth of an inch. I think it can go farther, but it's only uh, measured up to one twelfth. Um, and we have this guard on the side, uh, which you can take on and off by loosening this screw. Um, and it's useful to make sure that everything is straight while you're cutting. Now, this guard is pretty easy to bend, um, and so it's good to check it with a square and make sure it's square before you start cutting or else you'll be not cutting square. When we first started, uh, this was not square at all. Now it's pretty good. Uh, you can see I've also drawn some lines. Uh, I just drew all the way down um, and then take a few passes and you can see that the bottom half of the lines are removed. Um, that means we know where it's cutting. We know it's cutting on the bottom half, not the top half, which made sense because um, when we put the square up, it was definitely higher at this portion. So um, by doing this, we can kind of see uh, just where, where our material is, is being removed. Make sure it's in the right place. So the planer did leave a little bit of a burr, um, but we can use a square or really any piece of metal um, just to soften that edge a little bit. This doesn't chip. Right now it's a whole lot better. I mean, you could barely open the door before, um, but we need to take off a little bit more uh, somewhere around here. There we go. It's not touching anywhere. 